welcome back. A Russian court rejects Brittany Griner's appeal, meaning the basketball star's conviction and nine-year sentence is upheld. Griner was arrested in February when she was caught carrying vape cartridges containing cannabis oil out of the Moscow airport. She was charged with attempting to smuggle illegal narcotics into Russia. Well, Griner pled guilty to the charges, later testifying that she did not intentionally bring an illegal substance into the country. Where she played basketball in the WNBA offseason, Griner was sentenced to a shocking nine years in prison in order to pay a $16,000 fine. On Tuesday, a Russian court rejected Griner's appeal of the conviction. She is now expected to be sent to a penal colony, putting additional pressure on the United States to negotiate her release. The U.S. was previously in talks of a possible prisoner swap, trading Griner for Russian arms dealer Viktor Bout. President Joe Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin are expected to both attend a summit in Indonesia next month. President Biden said he would only speak with Putin if it was to discuss Griner's release. Terry, I know none of us are experts in, in Russian law or attorneys, but did you get the sense that this appeal was more for show than an actual appeal? You know, there's no question from the very beginning. The consensus has been that this was just for show, you know. They don't really want to hear any relevant evidence. They are not considering any relevant evidence. The only thing that they did do, her nine-year sentence was slightly reduced. They allowed each pretrial day in custody to decrease her sentence by 1.5 days. So it's not clear exactly how many days it'll be reduced, but that did occur. But despite all of that, the position has been that you know, she's been wrongfully detained and they definitely don't want to help her in any way at this point. So Julie, what's next for Bernie Griner and uh, this story as she seeks to be released? So you talked about the penal colonies, which is what her next step would be. It's terrifying because these are supposed to be incredibly, incredibly harsh climates. We don't want her to be there um, by any stretch. And the, the question is whether or not there's going to be um, some type of prisoner swap. We know this is political. We know that very likely Russia won't do anything until after the elections. Um, and so look, hope that at least sometime next year that something will happen that brings her home to her family. We all agree that this sentencing is absolutely preposterous. Keep eyes on this as it develops and see what's next as uh, you laid out for us, Julie, for Brittany Griner. And Johnny Depp is once again making legal headlines after suing a professor who accused him of plagiarism. Depp and musical collaborator Jeff Beck filed suit against Bruce Jackson for the claims. Jackson, a University of Buffalo professor and folklore author, said Depp and Beck took lyrics from his 1974 book. Jackson argues the book followed Missouri prisoner Slim Wilson, saying the song lyrics are taken from words Wilson said in his book while making a toast. This summer, Jackson told Rolling Stone magazine that the pair, quote, ripped something off of him. In a lawsuit filed last week, Depp and Beck claim Jackson holds no rights over a toast. Court documents claim the song, quote, is an original work of authorship and creativity and not an original work of authorship created by Jackson. Attorneys Ben Chu and Camille Vasquez, who rose to fame representing Depp during his highly publicized defamation trial, are named as attorneys to appear pro hoc vice in the case.